everyone, Walker here. We are on episode 13 of my Thomcraft Let's Play series. And last episode we had a bit of a blunder. Our infusion failed miserably. And I had mentioned how I was going to start a tree farm so that I could uh, uh, have golems uh, cut down trees for me. Specifically, I wanted to cut down great wood trees because great wood trees contain uh, Prakantatio, which is the magic essentia that I need for a lot of different things, including the infusion that we failed. But while I was... Uh... Oh, guys, come on. I'm, vid I'm, I'm, I'm recording. Go away. Monster Hunter. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. Why not? Like, I haven't killed a dozen of them already anyway. Um, instead of making the tree farm with golems, I decided we were going to um, try and get items for us to improve the stability of the infusion altar. And what I want to get is mob heads. That's why I left these spots open, because I want mob heads. Uh, you know, the crystal clusters and the, the candles are nice, but I really need something else. I could add more clusters. Like I said earlier, I don't know if there is a diminishing returns on the number of items that you have around it. I'm not familiar with that myself, so... You know, if someone knows that, go ahead down in the comments and let me know if it does or not. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, we know. Make it symmetrical as possible. Keep them balanced. Cult paraphernalia is symmetrical. They will have an effect reduced. So it doesn't say. Anyway, that's fine. Because what we're going to do is we are going to make something from forbidden magic it's the axe the axe of the skull taker okay because as we know the uh standard mobs using just vanilla minecraft their heads only come off if a charged creeper explodes near them right and as we saw earlier the shock foki isn't charging creepers anymore. It used to. I know it used to because I've used it before. Maybe something's different. Maybe I need to upgrade it using the focal manipulator. I don't know. We'll find out later. I don't care anymore. That's off the table. So how are we going to get mob heads? Well, the axe of the skull taker will take care of that. That'll get us skull heads. The only problem is it needs a wither skeleton skull. Okay? And those have a rare chance of dropping too. So we need a way of improving the drop rate of the skulls. And you're thinking, okay, so you're just going to make an enchantment table and hope for the best, right? No. I don't like taking chances with the enchantment table. That's why I don't use it. That's why I use stuff like Thomic Tinkerer's uh, Osmotic Enchanter. That's why I wanted it. Well, Thomcraft has its own version of uh, forcing the enchantments you want onto items. If we go under artifacts, it's down here, it's the infusion enchantment. Okay, you can infuse items with the enchantments you want. Uh, it uses up some experience and it uses up essentia depending on the enchantment you want. And you have to do them one level at a time. And the more enchantments you put on, the more it'll cost. And the more levels you put on, the more it'll cost. So like down here it says a level 2 enchantment will cost twice as much as a level 1. And for every other kind of enchantment you add to the item, you need an extra 10% per level of enchantment. Okay. And then over here is the recipes for it. So we've got... Repair, which is a Thomcraft specific enchantment. Haste, protection, fire protection, blast protection, projectile projection, feather falling, respiration. So it's pretty much all the vanilla enchantments, right? And any enchantments that Thomcraft might add. So we can go all the way into infinity, right? And what I want to add is first of all, I want to add uh, repair. 
and uh, fortune to my pickaxe of the court. And then I'm going to make, and I know I said I wasn't going to do it, I'm going to make a diamond sword and I'm going to put looting on it as high a level as I can get to enchant on it. Uh, and we're going to use that to go and attack the uh, wither skeletons to try and get a wither skelly skull. Oh, that iron sword's almost empty. You know what? Let's, uh, do I have... Oh, I found out what this was all about, why that wasn't showing up the aspects. is because of how um, the uh, potion effect is pushing this over. It's actually there, it's just in the spot where you'd think it would be if the the uh, inventory GUI here was where it's supposed to be. So so when I'm over here looking at the sword, I'm actually looking at the sword. It's six and three tellum, six metallum, three tellum. Okay. Well, guess what? For, uh, which one was it? Okay, repair, we don't need it. I think it was looting, we needed tellum. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, we need eight. And we also need a bunch of lucrum. And we know lucrum comes from gold, but we have an alternative uh, source of lucrum. And yes, we do need diamonds, which is why I'm going to start with fortune, because I need a diamond for fortune. The, the recipe is actually exactly the same, it's just, you know, different enchantment, because it's on a tool and not a weapon. All right, we need lucrum, and I don't want to waste gold, but we have these gold coins. They have one lucrum each. We have a use for these gold coins, which, by the way, Without the Ordict mod installed, these gold coins are almost worthless. They're good for trading with villagers, and that's about it. Oh, and getting Lucrum. That's where their real worth comes in. Oh. Oh, yeah, that I forgot. Uh, we don't need Arbor. I would really hate to get rid of Metallum. See, I was getting ready to make Golems for today's episode, and then I decided, eh, we'll, we'll go off and do... Yeah, we don't need that. Cognito, we, I mean, we've got a sugarcane farm that I still haven't automated yet, so we, we're pretty good on Cognito. Yeah. I was gonna do the golems, but that didn't work out, so what? Oh, I put it in my inventory. Derp. Alright, we need that. Now, well, that'll go up to 30, because we have 30 coins. Metallum and Metallo. Oh, yeah, we brought that over for Metallo, right? Metallum? Oh, no, we brought that over for Lucrum. But we don't need to. We have one right here. Put that down. All right, I'm just being derpy about this. All right, we already got that. Where'd my Lucrum jar go? We'll put the Lucrum in there. Okay. Drop that there. So we need for... First of all, I want repair. Because we're going to be using the pickaxe of the core a lot, and uh, we're going to be using its right-click ability to find diamond ore, and then we're going to be mining it out with ore, because I'm also going to throw uh, fortune on there too. And the repair works on Thomcraft tools, and what it'll do is it will, I'll have to keep a wand on me, and it'll use the Essentia from the wand, or the V from the wand, to repair the pickaxe. Pretty cool, right? I thought so. Let's take a look here. We need 20, uh, sorry. Oh yeah, that's right, it's going between levels. That's kind of annoying as an R. Maybe if you put like something that'll let us pick the level, whatever, you know. So we need six experience levels. We need 10 Fabrico, 10 Ordo, and eight Magic. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that again, which we got. Right there. Ah, put it up against the wall. It doesn't matter. It'll still drop it. It just looks nicer. So I got plenty of that, and I have most of plenty of Ordo. Ordo is actually kind of hard to get in vanilla Minecraft with Thumbcraft. Uh, with Railcraft installed, all I have to do is find a quarry block, quarry stone uh, uh, thing, and just mine that all out, because quarry stone has Ordo on it, and it's like, oh, yeah, that works. All right, all right, okay, we need to go get a diamond. Hey, oops, that was stupid. Um, no, we need to make an anvil. Wow, it'd be good if I could remember how to make an anvil. It's been so long, isn't it? Three iron blocks and... Uh... 
let's take a look here. It's been so long since I've actually made an anvil. You're probably going to look and watch me do this and laugh. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'll be right back. Okay, that was kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, I was I was darn close. If I had just removed those two before I had removed anything down here, I would have had it, and it kind of makes sense too. All right, we got that. That was very embarrassing. Now we also need some Sally's Mundus, okay? And we have plenty of levels. We got 37 levels, so we're all set with there. Um, I have some Salis from when I was making extra, uh, when I was enchanting my Thaumium caps to charge them, so that's fine. And this is only a moderate enchantment, so it shouldn't give us any grief. Oh, you know what I should do? Do I have the Scholar Lens in my inventory? Yes, I do. Okay. I haven't made a uh, thermometer since I got that little lens there. I think it's the coolest thing in the world. And Sally's there, and now we'll just... And you can hit this still even with a wand cap on. It's fine. Oops. Derp. There. All right. There it goes. Ow! What the heck? Oh, it's taken experience from me. Why is it also damaging me? Is it supposed to damage me too? Some life essence, but less than what you expected. The spin drawing in here, so care should be taken. So I guess it does damage you a little bit. So, you know, if you're down to half a heart, don't start these infusions. But, it, you know, there you go. Now we have repair one. And as you can see, look how it's like doing that little jumpy thing there. That's because it's taking, um, why isn't it not taking, oh, it's taking, oh. Slow recharge. Well, how did that get full? I have no idea how that filled up. Well, it's taking it from this vis stone first. Then it'll take it from the uh, wand once that's drained. I, I have no idea. That should be empty by now, but I don't know. Maybe it's when uh, I had that little incident where the world, I accidentally destroyed everything and then had to bring it back. Anyway, so now we're going to, uh, no wait, we need this. It has repair, so it'll slowly repair itself. And we could speed that up by putting repair two on it, but I don't feel like making another anvil and wasting more levels. But we do need a diamond. I should have dug this up earlier, but... Eh, or did I dig it up earlier? No, I didn't. Okay. That's fine. We'll come down here. Come over here. Come up over here. I re remember this one from back over a while ago. There it is. Let's see. No, no. 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 Maybe. Nope. Oh well. It was worth a shot, right? Now, you can still uh, break your item by overusing it before repair has a chance to repair it, okay? So, if you're getting low on durability, stop using it. Just put it back in your inventory. It'll, it'll uh, still do its thing, even if you don't have it selected. All right, we have one diamond. We need a uh, fortune place. Uh, what am I doing? Looking in the wrong area. So we want fortune. Now well, we can look at the looting anyway. It is. Oh no! Wait. We need an iron pickaxe, a diamond, and salus mundus, plus these, which I already have. Uh, four instrumentum, eight lucre, eight precon precontatio magic. I did say I wasn't going to say that again. But here's the problem. This is actually increased by 10% because we already have one enchantment on our item. So in reality, it is 4.4 instrumentum, 8.8 uh, 8 
and 4.4. So it doesn't really make a big deal when you have lower levels. I don't know if that rounds up or not. I assume it would, because if you need, uh, if you're working with whole numbers and you need 4.4 or something, you actually need 5 of something. So what am I doing? I need iron, which I have. I need sticks, what I got. Well, why do I, why did I take that much iron? I don't know. What the heck? Why do I keep getting achievements again? It's like it cleared it all out. I swear to God, I didn't restart this. I swear. I swear it. Okay. Enough fiddling about with that. Okay, let's see. Ha. Huh. Mad out of Sully Smundish, which is in my magic chest. Alright, so it was pickaxe up at the top, diamond on the right, and Salus Mundus on the left. We're going to double check that, but I'm pretty sure Oop, that's what it was. Yeah, okay. Apparently I have ore right underneath me. Might want to dig that up to check. Alright. Smite, knockback, looting, fortune. Salus on the left, diamond on the right, iron pickaxe at the forefront. And it takes five levels for Fortune 1, which we got plenty of. And this should work just fine. Boom. Hmm, that is weird. Well, I guess that pretty much settles it. Make sure you have a full life bar when you start doing these infusion enchantments. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. And now... We have a pickaxe of the core that has both repair one and fortune one on it. So now we should get at least a little bit more. How much? Well, I need another diamond if I wanted to put another level of fortune on it. I got plenty of, uh, plenty of Essentia to do it. I want to make sure I have, well, no, let's not do that because, uh, I need a lot of lucrum because I do plan on putting as many levels of looting on as I can um, a diamond sword. So I'm going to need a lot of diamonds and I'm going to need uh, 8, 32, um, I'm going to need more lucrum than I even have to get up to lo looting level 3. Uh, so what we'll end up doing is I'm going to go off camera right now to try and find some diamond and gold. And I will be back as soon as I find some, I promise. Uh, gold, not so much, because gold isn't as important as diamond anymore. But I will show you when I get to find some diamonds, okay? So I will be right back. All right, I'm not having a whole heck of a lot of luck, it seems. I mean, I've gone all over the place looking for it. The problem is, is, see, it, that could be anything. I mean, let's go look. I already had it open. I mean, look, redstone. So, we're having a little bit of a lapse here. But I promise I'll find some. Let's see what this cluster was over here. Where'd it go? Where is it? Oh, it's one more block dip. Oh, there it is. Ah. I love that blue look. Okay, so now we can test if this pickaxe was worth the time to make it. By the way, I, I made a bunch. Oh, I'm going to have to empty my uh, inventory out a little bit. Um, ooh, I can just eat these mana beans. Oh, what did I get? Ooh, water breathing. Yeah, if you eat the mana beans, you get random potion effects. Anyway, um, I made a couple of iron pickaxes so that I wasn't... Uh, constantly having to stop and wait for my pickaxe of the core to repair. Okay, so this is pretty good. And now we don't even have to get, dig around to make sure there's no lava that's going to kill us. There's no lava. Ooh, I don't know what that's... Before I go and dig... Oh, lovely. It's a... Oh, uh, I hope that's like... Oh, good. We're, uh, we're going to be in business. Uh, it's just redstone. We don't care about redstone right now. Okay. Oh, darn it. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, two. Uh, this is two by two. Let's see what we get. Okay. 
10. Well, but, I mean, you know, out of what normally what we would have gotten, what, 4? So that's a decent increase for just having one level of fortune on it. Okay, I'll be right back. I got rem I, I don't even know if I'm going the right way to get to my base, but uh, I must be because I think that's the node that's over near my base. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, and we're back. Now, to make this, to get all the levels of uh, looting that I want on, I actually have just enough Tellum, but I'm probably going to make a little more just to be safe. I have plenty of the magic, but I do not have enough of the Lucrum. And Lucrum currently only comes from super expensive stuff like gold and diamond. And if I had gold armor on, or on, yeah, if I had gold armor to steal from, I could use that. So uh, I'm going to have to use gold. And as much as I don't want to, I did a couple episodes go down and I went and found a whole mess load of gold. And as you saw a little bit later, I found some just on my way to go and uh, find these diamonds. So I'm going to throw the gold up here and let that cook. Okay, and while that's cooking, I'm going to start the first level of uh, the uh, looting. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run... Well, no, let's, let's just see. I might not have enough levels actually to do this, so I might have to run out and uh, kill some stuff and get some levels. Hold on, let me see here. Infusion enchantment. Sharp, smite, knockback, looting. Oh, yo, yeah. Need 15, uh, 10, 15, 25, 30 levels to do all three. And I have 28, so I need two more levels. So, um, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some levels, okay? Alrighty. So you know something I completely forgot about? <laughs> I had like a whole mess load of ore. I don't even know if it's still all up there. No, but I uh, I just shoved in that chest. And of course, we know that when he smelts stuff, he also throws that XP. So I got plenty of XP now. Alrighty. So I could have started this enchantment before anyway, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough. This should work. Oh shoot, I'm like low on health. Um, 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 eat food. Alrighty, look at it go. Oh, that's cool. I don't like doing enchantments this way. I think it's kind of tedious, but I guess it's better than uh, looting one. I guess it's better than doing it uh, the long, boring, normal way, where it's totally up to chance and the random number generator that hates us. So, you know, to each their own, I guess. Some people like it. I don't. Uh, this room can go in there. Coal can go in there. I do need another iron sword. I think I need a full iron sword. I don't think I can use one that's damaged, so real quick we'll make ourselves one more. And uh, I don't actually need any more diamonds, so let's go and oh yeah. We're going to put that right back on the pedestal. And it was Salus on one side. Oh, wait, I do need the diamond. What am I thinking? I don't need the diamond. Put that on that side. Put that there. We're going to double check that we got enough of everything. Always double check. Triple check. We want looting. Level 2, 16, 8, and probably 8, right? Yep, 16, 8, and 8. We have 15. See? See why it's good to double check? Plenty and plenty. We might need some more Tellum. I did say that, I think. But we do have Lucrum cooked up over here, so... Lucrum. We're gonna need more than that, too. Mm. Glad I have a lot of gold. Glad gold is kind of useless in vanilla Minecraft for anything, really. Well, I mean, it's not useless, but... Alright, hit that again. Now, as you add enchantments, 
the instability increases. As you add several different kinds of enchantments, the instability increases a lot. But hopefully I have enough stuff on this table that uh, it won't make a big difference. I might have to make this a double episode just because this is taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to. But I really, really want to get this table stabilized. All right, that should give me looting two. Yes, it does. Throw that on there again one more time. Put that there. Put the salus over here. See why I mean by this is kind of tedious, but it's no more tedious than a normal way of doing it. Now then, it doubles the cost. So I actually might need to pause just for a second to get a lot of more stuff. Hold on. Oh, it did... Wait a minute, that's not doubling the cost. That's doubling it, but that's definitely not doubling it. 24, 12, and 12. Definitely have 12. Don't have 12 there. And don't have 24 there. So we need... Sorry, Iron Sword, we barely knew you. He's going to give us three Tellum. He's going to give us enough Tellum. Uh, gold... I might as well just throw all the gold in there. Hmm. We need both of that and that. And now the waiting game. That gave us six. And actually, that will be enough. 16, 28. That'll be enough for this enchantment. And we need 15 levels, which we have. And that'll be that. I'm not going to be able to put any more enchantments on that. If I had way more levels, I'd put like a uh, sharpness or smite or something like that on there. But I don't. So that's kind of uh, disturbing that it actually damages you. I'm not sure which is more disturbing, that it's damaging me or that it's like just eating through that... Uh, uh, runic shield. Alright, that should be plenty. Right? We did have 24 in there, I hope. Yeah, we had plenty. Oh, little tiny bits of lightning shooting out. Do it! Do it! Come on, do it! And also, I never mentioned this before, but the longer the infusion goes on, the more unstable it becomes, regardless of how much stuff you've got around it. All right, looting three. So that should give us a fighting chance at getting this Wither Skeleton head. Now I'm gonna jump into the nether, but what I'm going to do, and you're gonna see something that I told you I wasn't going to do, but I wasn't expecting to do this when I said it. I'm gonna make some iron armor, okay? because there is just no way I'm going to go up against a wither skeleton with no armor whatsoever. And I'm going to take my goggles of revealing off. Hmm. 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 Gives us half. What does an iron helm give again? Isn't it like two or three? only gives one full. All right, you know what? We will leave those on. The reason is is because I have the Illumine lens in there, and the Illumine lens is so useful in the nether. All right, I'm going to empty this inventory, and I'm going to be right back. I'll meet you in the nether, okay? Okay. All right, so we're over on the other side, and as a bad joke, apparently a skeleton got through my portal, so I'm going to have to put a fence on the other side to keep that from happening. He met me, and then he decided to smack me around. All right, so this is why I wanted the Illumine lens. If I remove it, oh, look, it's dark again. So, oops, there we go. So it, you know, it's just like night vision in the nether. That's what it is. Uh, so we are kind of near the wrapping up point for this episode, and I thought to myself, well, okay, I'm going to keep recording uh, and make this a double episode, but I'm going to split the two episodes, but I will upload them together. 
Uh, that way, if you don't want to watch the rest of it, or if you need to go somewhere or something like that, you don't have to pause it or anything like that. And, uh, and uh, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to end the episode here. And like I said, I'm going to upload both this one and the next episode together because they kind of go hand in hand with one another. And with that, I'd just like to say if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave me a like. Please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. Leave me some comments. Share my videos. And uh, I'll, you know, I'll check out your stuff too. I promise. And, uh, you know, we will check you later.